Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. The European Green Deal is the face of this Commission, and I'm sure that in a few years' time, people will look back and will speak about a pre-Green Deal era and a post-Green Deal era. It's a generally a transformative agenda. And if we implement and use it properly, it will deliver the change that Europe and this planet needs. The ambition and change must have a clear guidelines and very concrete measures. This is what we discussed today. First of all, conclusions on biodiversity united the Commission, the Parliament, and now the Council in our common determination to turn ambition into practical change. Ministers of Member States have asked to set biodiversity goals, targets, and implementation measures themselves. Clearly, there is an ambition to mainstream protection and restoration of essential ecosystems into sectoral policies. The conclusions are very strong on this question, which is very positive. While we do, we do need protected areas, most of the damage is done in areas that are not protected. And that is where we should concentrate our efforts. The conclusions underline the need for transformative change, for safeguarding and improving the state of biodiversity and ecosystems at all levels, and for reinforcing ecosystem resilience and restoration while avoiding ecosystem degradation. They outline a path that will help Europe lead with a new biodiversity strategy for the next 10 years, enabling us to set the pace in Kuming, China. Next autumn, when the Convention on Biodiversity holds its 15th Conference of the Parties. Our credibility on the world stage will depend on our domestic approach. These conclusions are the basis on which we need to craft that approach. In this context, we have today also touched on deforestation and the importance of protecting old growth forests in particular. Forests will form an important part of our work in preparing the 2030 biodiversity strategy. And 2020 will see more actions to protect forests ecosystem, both in the EU and abroad. Secondly, we moved forward with preparations to deliver our zero pollution ambition. Fitness checks on Europe's air and water legislation indicated that legislation in both areas is working well, but that there is still plenty of room for improvement. The agreement on water between European Parliament and the Council allow us to address emerging threats like endocrine disruptors and microplastics in water. It goes further than standards of World Health Organization and that's how it's supposed to be. Everyone should feel safe about drinking water. Moreover, the importance of a new chemical strategy for sustainability was also discussed as we must ensure the toxic-free environment that citizens deserve. It was a day of evaluation and a day that allowed us to prepare for the next year when we will deliver on, the, uh, on different actions and initiatives outlined in the European Green Deal, which will be a true game changer. I would like to truly thank to the Finnish presidency. They did an amazing job and they put environmental agenda very, very top of the council agenda. And of course, let me seize the opportunity and wish you all a very Merry Christmas together with your families and loved ones. Thank you.